In this session, let's learn few concepts so that they will be useful to understand various topics in this course. Okay? How do computers process data? That's a basic question, right? Yes, they process in the form of zeros and ones, which we call it as bits, right? And obviously, 8 bits make 1 byte. Whenever we talk regarding computers, we know they process in the form of zeros and ones, right? In the same way, the Oracle database processes in the form of data blocks. Yes, just like how 0 and 1 is the smallest unit for a computer, for a database, data block is the smallest unit of storage in a Oracle database. Whenever we are talking about Oracle database and we are saying Oracle reads data and writes data, that means Oracle database is writing data blocks and reading data blocks. Okay, remember that that is the smallest logical unit by which the Oracle database understands. Okay, the default size in Oracle 11G and 12C is 8192 bytes, which is 8 KB. Remember this concept because throughout the course, I will be mentioning that Oracle database is reading the data blocks, it is writing the data blocks. So, you need to understand that data block is the smallest logical unit through which Oracle database writes and reads the data. Okay? Next thing, where is data stored normally? We know data is stored in permanent devices like hard disk or magnetic tapes. It is stored over there permanently so that you can read anytime. Even if you want to read the data 10 years from now, you can read them. That is why they are called as permanent storage devices. Right? Next, the question is, where is the data processed? Even though the data is stored in the permanent devices, the data is not processed in these permanent devices. So, we need a memory area where data can be processed. When I say processed, performing various calculations, filtering the data, sorting the data, like this. All these kind of operations are performed in the random access memory, which we call it as RAM. It is also called as a secondary memory or temporary memory or executable memory. Right? This memory is called as temporary memory because the data is stored temporarily to perform the necessary operations. Once the necessary operations are done, the data is cleared out. Or when you switch off your computer, the data in this memory is wiped out. Right? That is why it is called as a temporary memory. Now, if you see the big picture on how the data is moving, you can see that as soon as the user requests for data, the data from the secondary memory which is stored in your storage devices is read into the primary memory and then all the necessary operations are performed and then the data is returned to the user. Okay? When the user requests the data, the processor cannot directly read the data from the storage device and send it directly to the user. It has to read the data, load it in the primary memory, process it and then send it to the user. Okay? Remember this point. The reason why I am teaching about this data movement is when I teach about memory structures, you will understand why those memory structures are needed. Okay? And we also learned that Oracle reads in the form of data blocks. That means, when reading the data from the secondary memory into the primary memory, Oracle database will read in the form of data blocks. Okay? Remember these concepts and they will be useful as you learn various topics in this course. Okay?